This summer, thousands of young people will flock to music festivals in Victoria. It's Russian roulette, essentially. You're playing games with your life when you take drugs. Especially because I have a group of friends that take drugs regularly and knowing what's in the pill is really important. They test it and it comes up as saying they don't think it is. I think they're not going to take it. Harm Reduction Victoria is one organisation joining many young people who are calling for a pill testing service to be introduced in Victoria. What we're talking about with a drug checking service is about trying to regulate an illicit market from a grassroots level or at least try to reduce the risks. Each year the idea of drug checking or pill testing, similar to what currently exists in the Netherlands, is gaining more and more public attention as Australians who use drugs continue to end up in hospital and some losing their lives. Australia has one of the most adulterated illicit drug markets in the world and Australians are up there among the highest consumers of illicit drugs in the world. So that's a really dangerous combination. But experts warn drug checking is no complete solution to a complex problem. There is no panacea. There is no single thing that's going to work. What we need to be doing is thinking about trialling different measures and understanding the limitations of those methods. As another festival season approaches, it's unclear whether growing public concern over recreational drug use will ever transform into concrete public policy. But for those young people not deterred by the recent deaths at DEFCON or caught by police, it's clear that some people will continue to take the risk. Despite a state government inquiry recommending a trial earlier this year, the Labor government has now been quiet on the issue for months, though some remain cautiously optimistic. In the drug space, this is the best government we've seen in Victoria. As the state election approaches, drug testing remains politically a hard pill to swallow. Kate Ashton, Newsline.